Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, and I hope you enjoyed that uh, that uh, tribute to the late Charlie Jones in that uh, segment where he... Uh, I sure do miss him. Uh, yes. Just a wonderful, wonderful guy. Always a, uh, a joy you know, to be around. Uh, and he, he was such a charitable person, too. He was. I that, mean, he yeah. loved St. Jude. He yes. did a lot for him. Yes, he did. Um, he, he will be missed by many. He and his wife, Sandra, they were quite a fishing pair. I know that oh, yeah. for a fact on the circuits and everything. So I wanted to flip that in there. I'm going to fit this in right now. We were hoping to get uh, the dynamic duo out of Bolivar, that area over there. But uh, well, we got the most important guy, I guess. We got uh, we got Hoot Hazelgrove on with us. Good morning, Hoot. How you doing, Larry? I'm doing great, and we're still trying to hook up with uh, with Andy, Anthony Landreth, and uh, but he's taking care of some business, and uh, we'll try to hook up with Anthony if we can't get him during this segment. I wanted to talk to Hoot because he's getting ready to head back. You you folks know. I've had Hoot on a couple of years ago. Had the privilege of going out there and uh, and hunting with Hoot. Got to know him, uh, and Ron will impress this. Uh, Twenty years in the Marines. Uh, that's awesome. And that is hats awesome. off to you. I salute you. Yes, and that's where he got the nickname Hoot. You know, uh, we could go into that, but I wanted to talk about South Carolina Hoot because you're you're getting ready to make your twenty fifth uh, year trip to guide in South Carolina. Is that right? That, that's correct. Well, let's tell our listeners a little bit about that. How, as a turkey, and he's turkey guy, and what we're talking about, South Carolina season, of course, opens before us, and they have the world's longest deer season, I think. But uh, talk about how this started for you is, is, and, and 25 years later. Golly, that's a lot of trips. So talk about uh, how you started this and, uh, you know, what it means to you to go to South Carolina every year. Well, I retired from the Marine Corps at Paris Island, where I started the Marine Corps. Yes. In 19, I started in 1973 and retired in 1993. Okay. And I I bought a business there, and my sister lives there, and my parents love it. And they had the farm up here, and, of course, I'd come up here hunting whenever I got a chance or whatever. But anyway, Mom and Daddy came down one Easter and, of course, I'm a full-blown turkey fanatic. The As you stated, the season in South Carolina opens around the middle of March. Okay. It'll vary a day or two or whatever. All right. But anyway, uh, there was a sporting goods store on Ladies Island. People familiar with Beaufort, South Carolina, know where I'm talking about. It was called Island Outfitters. La- Island re- Outfitters, yes. A retired sergeant major that I knew in the Marine Corps on active duty ran the place and i'd go out there almost every day and drink coffee and we'd talk about hunting and everything and he just out of the blue one day said who you really need to become a turkey guide i said man i i don't know if i'm good enough to do that kind of <laughs> this, that yeah. kind of stuff you know yeah I mean, yeah he said let me assure you you are good enough he handed yeah. me a business card uh-huh and i called and set up the appointment and everything and went and talked to the manager and he said, Well there's pretty booked up. Now this was at a plantation in ninety four. Okay. All right. And uh all of a sudden, two days before turkey season, I get a call. The manager is literally down on his back. He couldn't walk. Oh. And he, he said, We need you and we need you now. You need to learn this plantation oh, in my two God. days. In two days. Okay. It, it, yeah. Anyway, that started the guiding part. Okay. And and it was spectacular. I mean I didn't of course didn't carry a gun, but I to be upfront and honest and I was with the hunters that are paying money. I said, I don't know exactly the lay of the land. Yeah. All the turkey hunters in you know, in, in your listening area you know what i'm talking about yeah i had so many keys to so many gates it was so confusing but anyway <laughs> I, you won't believe this larry uh-huh. i got it 20 turkey hunters that that spring of uh 94 20 t- all right and 19 killed turkeys and the last was a woman and she missed a turkey oh my gosh your mm. very first year and your not- first year Learn, and, learning where all the keys go to. Well, believe it or not, I had 
I'm, I'm as humble as a piece of apple pie that Mama just made. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I didn't do good enough. Oh, you did. <laughs> okay. And, of course, I, they that started the, and it wasn't a rumor. I mean, the, the little town was called Estill. It is called Estill. Estill, South Carolina. Hmm. Okay. And right. you had haven't to take been there it. yet. No, haven't been you, there. you had to. It's not far from the Savannah River. Okay. All right. Well, that was... You had to take your turkey, the hunter and the turkey there, and che- literally check the turkey in, weigh it there, and give the gentleman or lady, whoever was running the business. It yeah. was a hardware store. That's where you checked your turkey in. Oh, my hardware you store. Had, <laughs> you had to give them the weight, the, you know, the spur length and beard and all that kind of stuff. But that was your and first it, year now. So, man, that, th- that made you – uh, want to come back? I mean, you had family right. there and everything like that. Right? Did you think well, you think you would be doing it for twenty five years? Though, I mean, that's... well, what took place? That same manager and the owner and operator where I got now, I, I turkey got at Blackwater Hunting Services in Ulmer, South Carolina. Okay, all right. It's the same size. It's the exact same size as Toon. Okay, size of tune. But, okay, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, but anyway, the, the biggest... owner is Terry Hires. What, what's what's the, what's the closest well, where's big the town? Where's the closest big town? Yeah, what, what, Barnwell. Barn Barnwell. Well, okay, mm. okay. That's well, beyond me too. That's beyond us. So we're well, still we're still searching here, Hoot. So, we're uh, about we're about thirty miles uh, from uh, North Augusta, Georgia, which is on the Savannah River. Okay. Oh, okay. Now we got you. Now, All right. I know okay, good deal. I've been through Augusta. Okay. So now, now let's go. We only got 12, 14 minutes here, and I'm just saying, okay. uh, in 25 <laughs> years of going over there, uh, you, you've you uh, it's been a tradition for you to spend that time there, and you want your clients to have a good time, but you've killed a few birds along the way. Uh, now, I hate to do it without him even being here with us, but Anthony started that two years ago. He looked at my log books, and he, his jaw dropped. His jaw dropped. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, yeah. And I, you know, like I said, it. I don't brag. No, There's you no don't. Sense. If you're a turkey hunter, you better not ever brag. You you can show off. Yeah, yeah, but you better but not brag. Don't you dare brag no. because. That that four or five year old turkey will always have the upper hand. Yeah. And anyway, I, Larry, this year when I start guiding, yeah, my number is six hundred and thirteen. Wow, six hundred and thirteen. Wow. And I'm I'm going to tell folks, uh, folks, you need to just uh, go to YouTube. Uh, uh, you know, you can Google Anthony Lander, or you can Google Hoot Hazel Grove, whatever it might be. Uh, early in the week, I watched uh, Turkey Number Six Hundred One, and it was, right. and I had a hoot <laughs> watching <laughs> hoot uh, sitting there, and and I know how much of the adrenaline had. How old are you, hoot? I mean, I got. Uh, uh, right now I'm sixty six. June, in the middle of June, I'll be sixty seven years old. All right, so y'all hear that now because the passion has never left you, has it? And he's a Absolutely youngster. Absolutely not. As a matter of fact, Larry, even though duck season's fixing to close, yes, yeah, I started tinkering with my turkey calls. There he goes. Making, yes, I mean it's yes, it, yes. It, it, it it's more than a tradition and a passion. It is. It's my life. It's your life and. Uh, and, and, of course, you live where you live. You can hunt. You've got some places there, that your regular right. places, and you're not far from the Hatchie. I know you oh, do. Oh, no, the Hatchie no, runs yeah. through my farm. It runs right through his farm, and just about every morning you can find Hoot and Diesel. And <laughs> how old is Diesel now? Uh, Diesel is- believe, hey, I know I say this a lot, believe it or not. Diesel will be 3 June the 15th. I'll be All 67 right. June the 15th. Oh, the same, He's a youngster. The same same birthday. That's cool. And this is same a, birthday. And I can remember meeting Diesel when it was just a, a pup. And again, we're talking to Hoot Hazelgrove. Uh, you folks know him out of uh, Hardeman County and his love for turkey hunting, and fishing, and uh, and all the other things that go with it. And I and I got to ask you, Hoot. Uh, uh, we all deal with things in our life. You're dealing with something right now, and you're a very positive person. And I think I, I think Absolutely. your attitude. Tell our listeners if you don't mind, because I think you're an inspiration, buddy. Tell them tell them uh, your outlook on life and what you're doing. Well, 
I look at it like this. I was put on this earth, number one, to be a Marine. Yes, you were. Yeah. I, I accomplished that yeah. 20 years. Yes. Number two, I put on this earth, first and foremost, to love God. Yes, you do. Yeah. And every, I'm sorry. You do it, Hoot. I, go ahead, buddy, because you, I mean, you're an, you're, you, you're an influence, buddy. You have influenced a lot of young people in your lifetime. You've influenced a lot well, of I, people, and, that, and they've, so, they've paid this love back to you, so tell us. Come on. I've had so, so many memories. It's, um, it, it, it's just, it's off the charts. It's off the charts. You know, I yeah. mean, and this is when there was no such thing as cell phones or even computers. Yes, yeah. It was yeah. word of mouth, or you go to the local store and show them your turkey, or, you, you, right. you know, yeah. a Kodak camera. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, you can't delete a Kodak photograph. No, but tell them. Tell come on, tell us now. We got. But anyway, yeah, I've uh, here recently since last year, I've been through eight uh, scans associated with pulmonologists. I won't go into great detail. Yes, and I look at it like this: the last breath I take, I hope it's with a mouth call, a diaphragm mouth call, or a duck call. Or it's me trying. I'm a mentor to a young lady named Emma. Yes, you are. Yeah. And yeah. this is our third year together. She killed her first deer, her first duck, her first amazing dove, her first squirrel. She's caught the wow. biggest catfish she's ever caught. She lost the biggest catfish. Yes. My mission before I go guard St. Peter's Gate, that's yes. what Marines do. That's what they do. Is yeah. to get her her first turkey when I come back. Is that you hear that, folks? That's what I wanted this man on the show this morning on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Just because that drive is there. How old is Emma? Before we let you go, how old is Emma? She's fourteen now. She'll be <laughs> fifteen when I get back. Her birthday is twenty fourth of April. But that's about the time frame I get back. Okay, buddy. And nothing, nothing, nothing. Could stop ever you. beat the feeling if I could get that girl to tell me who don't move I see him. <laughs> well, As a guide, that's... guides know what I'm talking about. We can't see 360 degrees. No, you can't. But they... when my hunter says don't move, I see him. <laughs> that's that. It's it's just a calming feeling. Yes, and it's yeah. nerve wracking, and you don't know if you're going to have to change your drawers or what. I mean, <laughs> but, so, well, well, we... I, <laughs> I'm not trying to be ugly or no, nothing. No, I'm no. being as yeah, honest yeah. as I can. I know you are. But people just need to watch that, that video, 611. we got to let you go. Uh, who, we're going to talk to you when you get back. I know Anthony and I think. Um, Anthony and Duck are coming. They're going to be my last hunt okay. I had at, right. at Blackwater Hunting Services this year. All right. We're going to have you and them on the show. We'll maybe even talk to Emma. Buddy, we we'll, we appreciate you. Okay, buddy. Oh, y'all, hey, yeah. I like I said, man, it's more than a passion. It is. It and is. I'm not done yet. You ain't done yet, Hoot. Thank you, buddy. Have a great day. All right. You too. All right. Have a good one. All right. Let's take a All break right. on Outdoors with Larry Ray. Be right back. 